Tare. What was that? Tare. Parquet margarine. Tare. No, parquet. It says right on your lid, parquet margarine. Tare. Parquet. Smooth, delicious. Butter. Parquet. Almost live from the point of Saginaw and Washington streets in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan, First Congregational Church presents Cafe Devo, a five-minute devotion that fits seamlessly into your day with an encouraging biblical thought designed to lift your spirit and point you to Jesus Christ. Thanks for clicking the start button. God bless you. Here we are once again. It's Tuesday, March 21st, 2023. This is another edition of Cafe Devo. I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood. That's the star of the show over there in the corner, my pal, Bugsy, hanging out where he normally does. And I hope your Tuesday is going well. Let's get started. Today's devotion, of course, comes from the book Psalms for Lent, a collection of psalms that I wrote especially for the members and friends of First Congregational Church during this Lenten season, but we invite all of you to join with us. We invite you to read the entirety of Psalm 103 as we emphasize that one today. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed, and he remembers that we are dust. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him and his righteousness with their children's children. Grace, mercy, what wonderful words those are. Whereas mercy is not getting what we deserve, grace is getting what we do not deserve. God does both. And that inspired King David to write, Praise the Lord, O my soul, all that is within me. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. That's verses 1 through 4. And David knew God was grieved by his sin, but gave him forgiveness for his sins, healing from his afflictions and deliverance from his enemies. David camped on the truth that God forgives sin and will eventually remove all suffering and disease. How can a righteous God forgive sin? Because God's anger is different than ours. We tend to be quick to anger, and we want to make people pay when they've wronged us. If we're not able to make them pay, we nurse our grudges and plot our revenge. God, on the other hand, is slow to anger and provided for our forgiveness. Once he has forgiven us, he remembers our sins no more. Hebrews 8.12 For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. The same God who does not leave the guilty unpunished, as it says in Exodus 24, 6, does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. Because of the cross of Christ, in addition, God does not just pardon our sin. He adopts us into his family, giving us his love access to him in prayer, a share in the inheritance of his glory, and even the Holy Spirit. John 1, 12-13, Matthew 6, 9, Galatians 4, 7, and 1 John 3, 1-3. Now bless us, O Lord, on this Tuesday. We thank you for it, for the gift of life and We ask you redeem this day for your purpose. No matter what time of day it is, Father, may we take a moment and turn to you. We make our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Hey, that'll do it for us on this Tuesday edition of Cafe Devo. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off for now. God bless you, my friends. I love you all, and I'll see you tomorrow.